We're back for map two for UEC server one. It is a Harper's Graveyard. Be it on the server pops seventy three for the attacking CSA versus seventy five for the Union. I'm not gonna go all the way out there, but it looks like the CSA may have Battery French occupied, which is those guns all the way over there. I, I always like the Manly one better. I think it has a better line of sight for the impacts. It's that one's a little tricky on the fuse time, and it's harder to observe with the trees in the way, but. Um, Maybe Elfell has that dialed in a little bit better. We'll see. But for the Union team, looks like we have uh, the SB team again under Sergeant Leo for the Yardy. On the infantry side, they have the 6th New York, the 4th Georgia, the 52nd New York, and the SB. The commanders are, let's see, we've got Ali Kites. We've got Venom, we've got Beck, and we've got Carlton leading the uh, Fort George. Let's see here. On the CSA team, we already talked about their Artie. On their infantry side, we've got the LFL. Let's see, we've got 8th Florida under Danny. We've got the 6th Texas and the GC. Let's see, we've got Vibar leading 6th uh, uh, GC and Rousseau leading 6th Texas. I think I missed LFL's commander, um, who is Ark, and that is everyone. A quick overview, um, again, CSA decided to occupy those guns over there. Uh, this is their spawn over here. Point of contention is right here, and Union spawn is back over here. So, we'll see how the Union sets up. Looks like they've got at least one unit on the right side, maybe two. Then they've got one unit on the left, which is the anchor. In fact, I think that's without Artie over there. I think that's a good position for them. And then we've got NYV. Looks like they're moving out to the flank over onto the left of the SB. So uh, basically a two, um, basically two supporting positions, about equal weight uh, on numbers. We'll see where the CSA decides to attack. Looks like SB sending out a couple scouts here. So we've got a major move here by V-Bar and Arc onto the CSA right here. And then we've got Fritz and Rousseau on a little bit more center. I think if the CSA waits it like this, they might have a good amount of success here. I'd feel better with guns on Manly, but I don't like this. You should not have people firing and people crossing in front. That is That is bad juju. In fact, they also gave away their position with those shots. I mean, they, their position wasn't all that uh, underexposed anyway. See, here's where... Let's look at what just happened here. So SB has, I think, moved out somewhat rightly to intercept this big attack here. You've got all these forces here. They should be slamming into the SB right now and knocking them out. And you could defeat the Union in detail. LFL, once again, they are at the forefront, and they have chewed through the NYV with barely any effort, basically with one shot. But now the LFL is isolated here, and you've got these units back here that are just plinking at the SB. You could wipe these guys out. Those guys over there have not reacted. And the NYV has been wiped out. Look how vulnerable the SB is right now. They are in between two pincers, but if the CSA doesn't move, they're going to just slip right out. And which SB is doing, Venom, uh, he tried to come up in support, but he knows he has to pull back, and that has now given time for a reaction from the rest of the Union. They saw what happened. Opportunities don't stay open forever. If you create one, you've got to exploit it. Now, maybe the CSA wants to take a little bit more of a deliberate uh, pace to this battle. We'll see. They do have both GC and LFL on this uh, side over here. Now you advance a little bit more. But now the, you, you see the Union's reacted. They pulled all their troops over. You don't have the balance you did previously. Yeah. Repeat. Okay. Okay. 
Estaréis ahí en el árbol, bandera azul, están en campo sí, abierto. Sí, 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 los que están en el noroeste. Ah, apunten. Listo. Al árbol. No, I don't, I don't know why Rousseau is not having them load back here and then come up the chute. Uh, maybe he wants to increase his rate of fire. That might be what he's thinking. Oh, are they moving? Oh, uh, now we've got a forward right attack here by right Fort George. Right, so bleed. On that rock in the road, push. Fifty seconds, a little bit overexposed on this road here. You can see the SB has a little bit more hard cover. Not great, but it's something. S you know, fifty seconds just in the middle of this road here, and LFL have melted them back. Again, if you had some already on Manly right now, oof, oh. But I like the position that CS CSA has him in. I just want him to press him a little bit. You can see they're kind of boxed in here. Now we do have some movement here by who is this? Probably NYV. Yes, yeah, so now NYV's gotten back ah. into the fight. Back to reload. Back to load. And they are going to pull back to reload on cover, in cover, which is a wise thing to do. And some already coming in, but nothing's there. I don't think 8th Florida can push up much more here. They're basically at... They move up at all. They're going to get hit hard. 6th Texas maybe might be able to hit them a little bit here. Fuego. Yeah, target selection now. What are you aiming at? Are you aiming up these guys back here? If so, I'd say no, no, no. That's it's. You want to kind of melt this flank here and weaken them. Hey, hey they're all on the right now. They're gonna start falling out of the They should be. Oh, that was weird. I don't know what the hell that shuttering was. So Fort George is going to redeploy. Up and over. Up and over, Fort. Message? Hey, fuck it. Yeah, left face. Left face, sorry. I'm fucking... Left face, left face. Over the fence. From the double columns on the move. On the move. Double columns. Where are they moving to? That's the question. I mean, right now the SB is not super isolated, but... They are a little bit overexposed here. But the, uh, you can see... Because of the way they position themselves in this V formation, Six Texas is not really getting, and Eight Fuller are not really getting too many shots in on them. But Venom is going to move back anyway. In fact, I think this might be a big mistake here. You can see Venom taking a lot of shots now from the GC, and he put himself in an excellent angle here for these guys to hit them really hard. This was a I think big mistake there by them, by Venom. And Ark made him pay for that. SB is now losing a lot of people and also they're losing skirmishing tickets because they think they're in cover, but they're getting shot in the back here for skirmishing tickets. This is a very bad position for Venom right now. And who is this? 8th Florida coming in. Fritz, I think, saw an opportunity. And he is coming in and hitting them hard. I definitely agree with this maneuver here by Fritz. And LFL going in as well. And they are going to try to overwhelm the NYV. Oh, they're on the wrong side of the fence, too. Bad positioning by the NYV. 
And now we have a charge going on here. Fort George are charged in. Along with 52nd. I think that was a good decision. So with that, 8th Florida is still standing strong. GC, I would say, needs to move up and support the 8th uh, Florida here. Nope, they did not. And then 8th uh, Florida is wiped out. El Feldo is going to carry the charge forward as far as they can. And I think that is the right decision. Six Texas must have been mixed in with this as well. This must have been somewhere in this as well. And you can see even without GC, though, they've taken the field. So a great attack there by the CSA. And they now own the field. Are they going to cap now? What are they going to do? Uh, this will be an interesting question. Now they've got all the Union flags trapped right here, so they could overwatch him and kind of force the Union to come and hit you. I mean, the bad thing right now is you're still battle ready. They didn't quite get him down to engage, so that is a very long counterattack. Tickets are not that far off. And I'm zooming out here. And it looks like I like the way that uh, SB is going to link in with their already first as an approach. I, I think they need to link up with the rest of the Union team, though, and coordinate the attack. Meantime, there's the CSA enforcement starting to move up. Yeah, I really like the way SB is forming up for this attack. They're not going straight in. They're going to try to uh, nullify their cover and hit him from angle, which the cover doesn't support them. Problem is, if you take too long, the CSA reinforcements come up. Timing is always. Yep, you're waiting too long. It was a nice setup, Venom, but you, you took too long for it. And now there's a CSA. You got enemy on the wall to your right flank. <laughs> All right, here comes the Fort Georgia. I don't like this attack angle. They are facing the enemy with that stone wall in front of them, and they don't have a flag. They will not be able to stand up for very long against this fire here. Not again. Not in this exposed position. Oh, what are you talking about, Kotel? What are you talking about? Go, 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 go. Take aim at the wall, at the wall. Take the graveyard. Take aim, take aim, take aim. Ah! Back down to reload. Get the fuck out of here. Actually, just get out of here. Follow me, follow me. Follow so me. much better by Olikite not sticking around there. Because he's not going to be able to poke, uh, survive in that fire. You saw what happened in Fort George there. Now, a good job by these elements here. You guys are heroes, man. Get those flags out of there. Get them out of there. Oh, but wait a second. Look at this. Ace Florida, great awareness by Fritz here. Charging out the Artie for some great tickets. And now securing this position. Great job by Ace Florida there. And now these flags here, what are you going to do with them? He's just going to die out of line. Really good awareness there by Ace Florida. And I think Six Texas was with them. Yes, Rousseau was with them. Great job by there taking out that flank. We'll see what the Union does next. I didn't see what happened to 6 New York. I'm assuming they live, but you never know. There's Ollie Kite now. So you got a problem. You're not going to be able to stand and fight them. Um, your little poke shots aren't really going to do anything. Straight on charges are just wastes of time, as you can see. So yeah, you can see the problem now. The CSA has dug in on this graveyard. I don't think the Union can get them out of it. We'll see if they can. Not with these little little in individual action attacks that they're doing. That's that's complete shit. I'll be honest, guys. You're smarter than this. I'm being a little hard on you right now, but you guys are way smarter. Than this. 
I've seen it. You need to have you need to be a concentrated maneuver somewhere. Individual attacks against a prepared position is just by individual units is just suicide. All you're doing is throwing away tickets. Shit. All right, hold here, boys. Hold here. Hold here. Never mind. Hold here. Oh, yeah. Fuck. You can't stand up in a gunfight either, because you don't have a flag. They have a flag. So you're not going to outshoot them, especially since they have a flag and they have cover. They're all formed on that fucking wall as well. God damn it. This was really good play by the CSA. I thought they were a little bit uh, not aggressive enough, but this is exactly what you needed. And you can see how much they're dominating now. And look at all those flags now. It's tempting, sitting out there. And them overwatching them. Now, if I was the Union, I would, I would pick a side, mass on, and hit it. And try to... Um, and try to recover the flags as you're doing it. So I would probably hit the right side and try, you know, take the right side corner here and maybe put the wall between me and them and kind of fight your way up it or let them come to you. Hopefully they come to you. Company, take aim, left oblique. I like this. I like this. I like this. There we go. But it needs it needs all of it though. Oh no! See how they're positioning themselves now? Excellent work here by the 52nd and the SB. Very good attack in my opinion. My criticism is where are the rest of the Union units? They need to go in as well. Here comes Fourth George here. But they're going in. See, this is not good. You see how that attack went a little bit different? Oh no. Again, you see the approach that SB did. Down here, kind of in cover. Decent here. And it took this position right here. Versus coming in at this angle here straight at this wall and just impaling yourself at the wall you can see the results now the sp attack failed i think it didn't have enough weight but i think it actually had some decent success in at least getting a position going so now what do you do now well now they've waited everything over there maybe you hit the gc side now maybe you have everybody come down this road here and you form up on this corner this time Try to put the cover between you and the enemy. Yeah, Oli, I think what they want to do is they want to make a distraction. Oh, screw the distractions. Don't do that. Oh, don't do that. Just just mass. Forget distractions. Just mass. Just hit them. Just hit them. Don't, don't distract. Let the cannon be the distraction. Get this gun pushed back while, while we load. You need to keep Let Leo be back. the distraction. He's very distracting. Come on, come on. Look, right now you got two units here engaging this little arty thing right here. That's all the distraction you need. You've got two units with them. Everything else mass. Stay on that wall. See, this by Fort George again, I'm... You already have it. Look. Looky. Two guys are over there messing around with Artie. You've got GC and you've got one position over here. These guys, what are they going to do? Go back to that point. Go back. Jesus Christ. Stay in, stay in formation, boys. Line on my left right here. Line on my left. Line on my left. Line on my left. You're You're panties, on orders, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Rap bags. A lot of you. Jesus Christ. Damn. Owens. Owens. Alright, here comes the other side. They're going to try this angle again. Again, 
Again, decent going in together. Oh, you lied to him. You lied. You lied. Very good charge. Now, I wouldn't say fall back. I would, you know, position right down here and fight it from here. I think you got. I think the union got a little bit too extended, chasing that flag and not getting a good position. And the LFL will react in time. And switch it up. Hit that. Eleven thirty left on the counterattack. Tons of time here, but the Union's going to have to figure out something here soon. It's another attack. What is this? NYV trying a wide flank here, but it's by itself. It's unsupported. It's not to any wider design. GC is going to take care of it without too much trouble. <laughs> That might have been effective if it was while the other attack was going on. And now we got another separate attack. You guys see what I'm saying? I hope so. I hope I'm not just, you know, missing in the wind here. See, so CSA, good internal lines, mutual supporting. Reacting, reinforcing, Union, 51st and 52nd, I think, are working very well together. I, I, I think the synchronization with 4th Georgia and 6th New York, there's some good ideas and some good thoughts there. It's the timing is just off, unfortunately. And it's not easy to do timing without Steam Chat and without messengers. It's not easy at all. But, um, you know, that's what it takes to beat a CSA team like this. <laughs> So here comes 52nd. Again, individual unit. Not a bad idea. Swallowed up. Now, this had gone off with another major attack? Maybe. Let's go. Now, Fort George is going in. But again, where's SB? SB's not in the fight yet. So they're going to get turned on right here, wiped out. And you're not even, we're, you're really just fighting LFL right now. The rest of the CSA hasn't reacted. So you got two other prongs now starting to go in. But now Six Texas is starting to come down to react. I do like this angle from the SB. If they can get up and over, it might be effective. Now the rest of the CSA is not reacting. Those elements down there should be moving out. And they are not. But V-Bar got back in there. Great job by V-Bar getting the GC back into the fight. And now here comes 8th Florida. I think that maneuver by V-Bar really might have saved it. And now, now 8th Florida is coming in. There we go. And there we go. It was a little rougher, but it was mutual support. And you can see the difference. I think Vibor actually saved it right there, to be honest with you. Eighth Florida moved in. I think they were a little bit late, but it, it still came in. I think with Vibor as that drawing the forces up, opened it up for Eighth Florida nicely. Finished the job. Again, not a bad idea, but, you know, 52nd went in too early. Imagine if 52nd had gone in with the Fort Georgia and SB all at the same time. you got to be able to figure out how you're going to be able to synchronize these attacks. You can't let them defeat you in detail. Oh, here's a lot of more nice uh, Adeline tickets that they're going to give them. There's 10. Hello, guys. I got something you might need. didn't make it in time. Oh, thank you. Come on. Hold here, Florida. Pirate will on the artillery. Carter, are you okay? <laughs> I got this tab. Oh, you survived though. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Hey, somebody kill that man, please. 
Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. A lot of tickets. <laughs> yeah, this was a war crime, but I didn't see. Oh, ceasefire and kneel because they are coming. Hog, go and call LFL immediately. Yep, yep, six yep, yep, yep. Good job. Neil, Good job, my Fritz. He knows what's up. We're gonna have to fucking brace him. Oh, shit. Oh, got him. Um, yeah. Get him, kneel and cover. Check. Now here comes the attack, a little bit more concentrated, but I, st I, I still don't like it. It's still a little bit too uh, separated from my taste. Don't waste your shots, don't worry, fire at will. They, they stop, they stop. Yeah, they're coming, more coming, more coming. Holy smoly! Strong hold, boys. Fire at will. I don't know what that was. That was weird. See, I don't like this angle the SP's taking. I think it should go this way that, you know, now they're starting to, like, six is going. That is the angle I think you should go. Now you roll him up from this side of the fence. Or the stone wall. And then you just roll it up. Knock out those flags. And just carry it forward. Again, there's a lot that's not in right now. 50 seconds not in. Keep going, Six. Keep going, keep going. It's not a bad attack, but it doesn't have enough weight because not everybody's committed to it. Jesus Christ. these flags up. Now, these guys that are getting the flags back are doing yeoman's work there. Now we got another attack here. By 52nd, by itself, after the attack is done. And they just get picked to pieces. Look at how weak the CSA was after that attack. Hold 50 seconds, hold, 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 Alright, now here comes SB with the counterattack, though. Hello, guys. We'll see if they can swamp LFL here. Good job here by who is this? By Venom here, occupying that position. Now the rest of the CSA, let's see if they can finish the job here. Brits coming in at a great angle behind the Union line here. Great angle of attack here from the 8th Florida. They need to carry it through though, that is the key. Let's see if SB can stop this. Really, it's this core here by SB. And the rest of the Union was able to hold it to the end there. And that will get them the point back, I believe. Great position there by SB. And the CSA has opted not to contest it, and they will allow the Union to go back up to taking losses, I believe. Which I think is probably the right decision, to be honest with you. This is probably a lost cause at this point. Yep, back up to taking losses now. Let's go! 
Turn northwest, turn northwest. Alright, watch that. Up and over. Independent fire. Independent fire. Private theater, where are you going? Now, this is still not great for the Union. This, you know, they're at 28 minutes and they're very close to breaking here, but uh, it was a nice little comeback they did. On the fence, form on my left, on my left. On oh, Ollie's left, come on, boys. Let's go. That was good. Well done, boys. Damn it. Incoming enemy. Incoming enemy. And now we do have the GC moving out here. They are moving out by themselves. No, don't kill all Oh dear. Yeah, don't kill me. Don't don't lucky. Uh, <laughs> LFL once more being aggressive here. They see a good opportunity to get some tickets and get back some of this ticket lead. I do like this rotation by V-Bar here. Look at how he's now positioned himself to get good fire on the NYV. And Dar is going to get out of there. Or Ali Kai, I should say, not Dar. We're kind of back to where we were. What's that, sir? Kind of reset it. See what the CSA does. It looks like I'd probably 8th floor. They've been loving coming down this uh, route several times, and Fritz is going to do it again. He's got support by 6 Texas. This route has worked great for them. I missed the uh, Artie shot. These are going to be some great out of line tickets here. Here comes 4th Georgia and 52nd to try to stuff them. Good reaction by the Union. Good reaction for us by the Union. They're able to stop it this time. But now, can. And good hold by the SB up here. Keeping the LFL and the GC at bay. Get on the road, boys. To my left. Get on the road. Up on the road. Up on the road. Bit of a far question. Independent. Yeah, independent fire. Wait for them to spawn back up. Left oblique. Left oblique. Hold, boys, hold and fire. Left oblique is a lot of people. Steal your nerves. Steal your nerves. Wait for it. Let them pop up, boys. Let them come up. Hold your fire. Steal your nerve, boys. Now to use this chance to get those reloads in the day. Patience and discipline will win us. Right there. We could. I can run up blast them and run away. They run up, run up, blast them and run away. Tu me décales toute la ligne à droite au même position initiale. Je vais rester ici pour faire un petit peu de d'appa si tu veux et tu fais la même manœuvre. Now again, I, if, if they had already on manly, they could make this position much more untenable for the union. But the CSA did not opt, but already on that position, which I think was a mistake. They did have it up here, a couple shots. Not nearly as effective, in my opinion, from what I've seen people do. But like, these formations out here would not be able to stand up as they are. Those Union formations. 
l'ensemble. 3, 2, 1, on y va. 14, 40, fini. On y va. Ils sont là, les gars. C'est cadeau. Un petit peu. Allez, on bloque. Union has hit breaking. That cheeky fuck tried to shoot me out. Fire! Alright. Alright, lads, fold me double ranks, double ranks. Right, right, double ranks, right. Double ranks. Aim to the north. Huzzah! 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 Don't aim, don't aim. Just out the ready, out the ready. Stop aiming. This ain't red or blink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Here right. comes the attack. You know, I'm kind of fine with going on this side of the wall here. You know, kind of keep the uh, CSA on the other side. The problem is it was slightly mistimed with LFL. They were not in a position to support. You can see now we've got that defeat in detail for the CSA team. Now LFL goes in. If they, you know, was slightly better timed, I think it would be a uh, much better opportunity here. But GC has moved up as well. It might still be enough. I think it will still be enough here, especially with GC and the LFL, the way they position themselves. The problem for GC right now is now you've been in this position, now you got to jump over and get onto this stone wall or intercept those forces. You can't be watching the other way like you are right now. Yeah, Venom's going to make you pay for that mistake. That worked for the initial attack, but you lingered there way too long. It should be enough for the Union to retake this. And I don't think they'll hit uh, last stand doing so. We'll see. Force, hold to my left, boys. Force, hold to my left. Force, hold it. Half defense to go, half defense to go. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. We've got that back, that's crazy. Oh, no, sir. Force, hold to my left. Hold, hold, hold. Force, hold to my left. Venga, vamos a por el oficial. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Oficial. Venga. Let's go, Hog. I believe in you, Hog. Now, I agree with Fritz right now, holding here. They are capping. There's no reason not to. And the Union right now needs to charge them out. In fact, their failure to do it might end the game for them. They need to charge out now and stop them. Too late. CSA wins. 
Yeah, some interesting attacks, some interesting defenses there. It's a very small contained map. Actually, I kind of like it on the 150 player thing. Um, actually, I think it opens up a little bit more possibilities. Very static battle. <laughs> 